Hey guys, there are thousands of habit tracker apps, websites, etc. out there. But being a developer, what's fun about using something that you can build yourself? And especially when you can do it with a new technology like GPT Script. In this tutorial, we're going to begin by setting up everything we need and then continue to building a simple habit tracker. With this habit tracker, you will be able to tell a chatbot to create categories that fits your need. Uh, you can instruct it to track what you have done today, yesterday, etc. You can ask it to count how many times you have tracked a certain category, give it a current tree count, and even export the data and create a HTML file with a beautiful chart. The data will be stored in SQLite database between the sessions. So we can begin by setting up GPT script. Um, the version I'm going to use for this tutorial is 092. If you have a slightly older version, you can just reinstall GPT script and you should be ready to go. To find it, you can just go to github.com slash gpt script dash ai slash gpt script. And then you will find information down here on how you install it on Windows and Mac. You're also going to need an open AI API key, which you will find information about here and how you set it up. Before you start running the commands for running GPT script, it might be smart to take a look at the price lists here on openai.com slash pricing. Using OpenAI API is not free, but you do not pay for more than you actually use. And the script we're going to use in this tutorial will use a LLM called GPT-40. And the price can vary a little bit on what you actually put in, how what you get back and similar, but it should not cost much per uh, command. So just take a good look at the pricing list to familiarize yourself with them. Okay, so then we can jump into an editor. I like to use Visual Studio Code and then have a folder here called Habit Tracker. And then in here I just create a new file called Habit Tracker.gpt. And all files ending with .gpt indicates that this is a GPT script. We can begin by adding the following content. So we specify which tools we are going to use. So a tool in GPT script is sort of like, uh, um, it can either just be that you want to give this read uh, permissions on your computer or write, or it can be to execute commands and similar. In this script, you're going to use sys.read, which makes it possible to read from uh, a file on your computer. In our case, it will be the SQLite database. And sys.write, because we want to write back to the database. And sys.exec, to talk to the database. Because the GPT script will generate commands that you want to run in order to communicate with the database. And then we set up a description for this script so just description a chat bot for a person personal habit tracker and then we set that chat colon true and this just activates the chat functionality in gpt script and then down here we're going to explain to the script what it should actually do or what this script is so we can begin by just saying you are an expert on creating good and lasting habits and if there isn't a sqlite database called habits.sqlite3 in this folder you have to create one so that's simple so now this will automatically check if there is a file called this or a database in the folder we are in now if not we create one. Now we can go to the next line. The database should contain a table with a field for the name of the habit, the streak count, a tag or a category, and a way to make sure that you, oops, that you can only track a habit once per day because we don't want to allow that you track for example um, that you have done a certain things multiple times in a day if so you have to change this a little bit in order to for example you can allow it to track once per hour or similar and then when the chat is started 
please ask what habit you should track this time or if you should create a category or export oops export the data we will come back to the export part because you need to add a little bit more to this script afterwards you should also be able to create a new habit category and remember this so now this will know that we are going to have both the categories and the habits in the database so this is sort of just plain english you can write it in your own language if you want to feel free to try that and see how that goes so then we can save this and then we can head over to the command line to run this so then I just a GPT script and the name which is habittracker.gpt and then I get a, if, then I get the question here what habit would you like to track today alternatively would you like to create a new category or export the data so let's create a category I want to create a category for uh, drinking water uh, you can call this drinking water it's going to be a little bit specific because if not since this is AI it can think that you want to have a different name for this that AI should come up for you so just call it this one and then I need to you can see the create table if it doesn't exist so now it wants to create it and I want to confirm this by just typing a and hitting enter so that I allow all commands to run and um, can you add one more call this jogging so now uh, I should have two categories can you show me the categories no should get a list of categories as you can see here perfect um, so now we can add categories you can list the categories let's try to add an entry for yesterday's drew jogging can you track jogging for yesterday so this should for example if you see here it says minus one day great can you also add this for today great so we can stop the script now by just hitting ctrl c and go back to the visual studio code script so we can add the functionality or commands for exporting um, so at the end here we can say i also want you to want you to be able to export the data into an html file uh, please show the categories and streaks in a chart remember to pull the latest data from the database before you export okay so we can save this now go back and try to run this again Okay, so now you can see it's asking me in a slightly different way um, you can try to just hit 3 now export your data so now it's going to check this and I just need to allow this to do this again so now it's pulling this I want to allow us to do this you can see here drinking water streak is 0 jogging streak 2 when did I latestly sorry what was the last time I did this that was that date and I want to write this to habits report Doo -doo. finished so if I go to the finder now I should have a new HTML file here great and I can see here habits report drinking water zero jogging two perfect so that was actually it for this tutorial you now have a simple habit tracker that you can use for your own habits or you can try to improve this by adding for example more functionality to the export for example you can export into json and show it in a different way you can maybe try to add hourly or weekly habits or you can ask the bot to give you compliments you have when you have tracked the habit 
maybe come with suggestions for what you can do to become better at having habits, etc.